yes sir you already know what's going on man um it's your host justice my son we are back man with some more digestible content just for you guys from yours you know what i forgot the dang intro all right let's roll it now that's good um man we are back with another video i think i wanted to do something like cooler you know give you guys like a different feel and so this is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while. First of all, shout out to all my creators out there. I want to really like let you guys know if you're creative, if you have a, like a passion for arts um, of any sort, man, you know, people, people are always like chase your dreams and stuff. But like, man, just find ways to like really explore that. You know, I never knew, you know, even like, you know, a year or two ago that I would land here, you know, talking to you guys, um, give you guys inspiration about um, you know, my journey, my creative arts and helping you guys, you know, learn and hopefully grow through that. Um, and podcasting, you know, I, I, I knew I always liked to speak. You guys know I like to speak. Everybody knows I like to speak on my friends and family, but I didn't, you know, I, who would have thought I have a podcast of my own um, that I've, you know, devoted and invested a lot of time in. And that's just all, it all started with a creative passion and just, you know, an idea and a seed that was that I planted in. Speaking of podcasts, just, just one, one second. Inside the Inventory podcast, new release. This past Sunday, actually, um, the concept was really cool. This was the first time that I've, you know, did like more so of a freestyle mix along with some structured writing. And the final product was super cool. I feel like where I started in my first episode to this past release, um, just a tremendous amount of growth. And again, I, that's all led by just me being like super creative, but so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drop that uh, link in the channel transcript. If you guys wanna check it out, if you got some free time or just some downtime, man, give it a good listen. Um, it's 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 uh, it's good practical messages and you know, got a little flavor in there as well. You guys know how I do so. Um, and also leave the show a rating. But without further ado, and you know, the reason why I'm really, really here, you know, we, we, we talk about podcast stuff, but the reason I'm here today with you guys chopping it up, man, is I wanna show you guys my audio workstation. And so as you can see behind, and as I've been shooting a lot of these videos recently is uh, more so facing uh, my workstation. I wanted to make this video just to show you guys, again, if you're creative, um, I think that, you know, having a really solid workstation uh, with everything that you need is super, super important. Because for me, I feel like the moment I sit at this desk, I just channel this, I can't even explain it. You know, I just channel like that different side. Um, I'm able to really, just lock in and, and kind of have like just this space, this ambiance to where I can really um, just work on new stuff. You know, I'm, I'm constantly always trying to find, you know, new ways to uh, really explore all of the things that I'm passionate about and the things that I'm good at and find a way to bring them all together. And so this desk right here and all the little trinkets that I'm sure you guys, and it's all the cool stuff um, are definite necessities. Um, we're gonna talk about, you know, some important things, audio base as well on my workstation and then we're gonna go talk about some cool stuff so i hope you guys take around to the end of this video man short and sweet you know how i do i don't like to be in your hair too long so we're gonna be in and out all right i'm gonna see you on the next slide So first things first, man, the handy dandy notepad. So this right here is my lifeline. I know most people are super like modern, right? Like first world tech where they record all the notes and stuff on their phone. But I'm kind of an old school cat where, you know, sometimes I just need to write things down. You know, I need a, just a smooth little pen and pad and just to really get like my thoughts out. I put a lot of concepts in here for video, um, for, for all, you know, a lot of my podcast stuff. I, I write a lot of stuff down in here. So if I'm on the go, if I'm at a cafe or whatever I might be doing, you know, I usually have this with me. Um, this helps me kind of, you know, break away from always, you know, being super reluctant on technology and it kind of gives me that old school feel. So super underrated, man. Um, man, like what? Three bucks at, at Walgreens? Can't beat it. Of course, the little pin jar for sure. This is Lola. Um, so it's only right to bring her in. So Turtle Man can have a buddy. Y'all know Turtle Man. We'll get to him in a little bit. Um, but yeah, you know, artistic skills is there, all right? Um, 
<laughs> at first I was like, dang, she looks kind of creepy, but she kind of looks, she definitely grew on me. She looks cool now to me. So this is Lola. Definitely got to have her with me when I'm working. This right here is my Samsung um, Q4. This is a headphone amplifier. So I picked this up. This is good for like multi-channel um, recording, especially if you have multiple parties or multiple people, you know, on some whatever audio segment that you have. This is going to be super clutch. This is also um, a good amplifier for any playbacks. So if you're really trying to see if you picked up any obscure noises or anything, um, this is a very, very powerful tool and it works uh, great with any type of interface that you might have. It's pretty universal. This right here is my Focusrite interface. Um, this is the Scarlett uh, 414. This is actually one of the newer models I had compared to the last one. This is nice because instead of, so the one thing that you have to sacrifice is like getting all the, the plugins and, and the toggles on the actual interface itself. And now it comes in a, party application where you get pretty much the power controls um, as an additional uh, like plug-in software so this is super cool this is a uh, actually I got this on a trip this is a phone holder so as you guys can see it's like a little elephant which I thought was pretty nifty it's pretty cheap too I got it on the organ um, this right here this is my baby this is where it all started man this is my I'll pick it up here this is my EOS um m200 canon so this is great for vlogging i can't go wrong with that i still use it pretty often especially when i'm going out and about or for days like today when it's sunny so <laughs> as you guys know man this is my boy turtle man he's been in the fold for a minute um <laughs> my boy every time i look at him i just think of like nemo <laughs> like the, the scene with the turtles and like the turtles are just vibing out man turtles are such a vibe so he looks like he's mellow, he's chill, man. He's always just hanging back, man, laying low. So, so shout out to my boy, Turtle Man. Um, got a coin jar, you know, keep a little couple of guys. Everyone has like a miscellaneous jar where they just keep a bunch of random stuff. And then, um, yeah, I uh, just have, you know, my mouse and, and keyboard and pad and everything. <laughs> I almost forgot, man. Gotta have the PS5 handy. So the one thing I, I like about this monitor is that it's a Samsung Curve monitor. So it's really, really big. Sometimes I use it as a TV, man, when I'm just like watching my shows or like, you know, obviously on the game, playing the game, streaming, doing whatever. Um, so super cool. And you can also spin it vertically um, and have it uh, a line going up and down too, but I usually keep it horizontal. And last but not least, outside of, you know, the MacBook, of course, we have the sound box. So I did a video on this. If you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna drop it right here, a little snippet so you guys can check it out. Um, but yeah, this has been clutch. Um, I actually use this for the first recent two episodes that I posted, um, a planted seed and um, imposter syndrome. So yeah, this is my audio workstation, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and then, you know, I got my light kit in the back. Uh, so we are good to go. Shout out to my boy, Frank. Yeah, it's a definite vibe for sure, for sure. So if you guys like it, if you guys see something, you're like, man, you know, I might have to add that to my workstation. Um, or if you have any suggestions, let me know, most def. With that, I appreciate you guys, man, for tapping in to another video. Today was a little different, like I said, what it looks like and what my space looks like when I'm cooking up. So yeah, if you guys saw something on my desk that you thought was like super cool, you wanna add to yours, definitely check it out. A lot of these things aren't like super expensive, so, you know, you're bound to find it, you know, check out Amazon or check out pretty much any um, e-commerce store, you know, you're bound to get your hands on it. Or if you have any suggestions about things that you think I should add to my creative workstation that could help me boost my creativity, please let me know in the comments, man. Um, definitely wanna hear from you guys. Like this video for sure. Um, and as always, subscribe. But before I get up out of here, stay tuned for upcoming videos. Um, I'm going to start a quick series on teaching audio effects and lastly, again, like I said, if you are creative, um, let that lead you, you know, really tune in um, and tap in with yourself, figure out what, you, what you're good at, figure out what you enjoy doing um, and, you know, let that take you all the way. And so with that being said, I appreciate you guys, man. I'll catch you in the next one. But for now, I'm gone.